Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Julie's Orchids. So today we're just going to have a look around and see what we've got in bloom. And a few things. And here we have Cycopsis butterfly. This one's been in bloom for a while and is getting ready to uh, drop this flower, but it will bloom again. So far, Cycopsis has been reliably blooming and reblooming for me for the past six months. Here we have our little Oncidium Twinkle. Uh, this is the second blooming for me this year on this little plant. Uh, the first time this one bloomed, it put out two flower spikes. This time, as you can see, it's only produced one. But they're still pleasant little flowers. And they have a nice, subtle, chocolatey, but electrical, wiry smell to them. And in bloom for the first time is Oncidium Guanxin Sweetheart Guanxin. I've had this in my collection for about a year and a half now, and I bought it as a seedling near flowering size plant, and it has bloomed its very first flower spike. I can say I'm fairly happy with the results. They're very beautiful dancing lady like flowers. Let's see if I can zoom in on them. And the color is actually fairly closely representative to what you see with the naked eye. A uh, beautiful little flower. There's no fragrance to it at all. Nice colors. And again, this is Oncidium Guanxin Sweetheart Guanxin. And here we have a monster size in Cyclia cochleata. Uh, I got this about 10 months ago off of a Facebook Marketplace ad. And when I got it, it was just a division. It had this pseudobulb and that one. And these two pseudobulbs are starting as little eyes you can see down here on this one right there. So I've grown those two on to the first time flowering for me on this Insecrete Cochleata. That has a very nice fragrance. Um, don't really know how to describe it other than florally. Yeah. Very beautiful flowers. And you can see that both of these pseudobulbs uh, have produced flower spikes, and they seem to continue to be making buds. So here is the species Insicria copriata. at a little Tulumia hybrid here, Tulumia Little Bank Devil by RMR Emily Butcher. Now, I can't say I can really take claim for the flowers on this one as these came to me in flower spike and in bud and this particular one had flowers open. Let's see this one is, is spent. Uh, these arrived just before I went on to holiday so I was Got to come home and be happily surprised to see them in bloom. And that's the first Tulumia. And our second Tulumia is just opening her flowers now. And these are just the most dainty, beautiful little flowers. And this is 
Arama Hawaiian Magic by Tulunia Capilado Queen. Uh, these came from Rosella Orchids over east. These ones came in in bud. They seem to be adapting okay to the media I have them in. I have them in large bark and very well aerated cups. And again, say goodbye to the beautiful little Tunumia. First time bloomer for this plant, Path Charles Rodii. Uh, this is a species path. And I bought it as a seedling about a year and a half ago, and it has bloomed. It's very first bloom for me. Now this one's been opened for, I'm going to say, five weeks already, and it's really holding up quite well. Uh, you can just see how absolutely glossy this thing still looks. I'm trying to get zoomed in a bit here for you. This that beautiful detailing on the hood and the strong presence of that slipper, that is just absolutely gorgeous. There is nothing that seems to be fading on this particular plant. Uh, like I said, it's, it's been in bloom for quite some while now and still just looks as thick and waxy and shiny as it did in the first few days it was opened. And here we have half Charles Rodia. Here we can see in bloom a trio of your standard store-bought Phalaenopsis. Uh, you might recognize this bloom from my opening sequence. This is the culprit for what got me going on the orchid journey down the rabbit hole, a gift from my husband for our anniversary. And this was a lovely gift from a former co-worker of mine when I last uh, left my last place of employment and to go on tour I'm at now. And so just a few lovely store-bought phalaenopsis that are re-blooming for me. And happy in the background. Well, these two beauties here are Phragmopedium sidenae candida. So I'm saving the best for last, or at least the I consider the best for last. As we know, Phragmopediums are my absolute favorite of the orchids. Um, and this is among the first plants in my collection. And I got these from Nikki Slippers. And this is the first time these plants are flowering for me. So this one has grown three new fans, one of which I accidentally killed, and of the two that it did not that I did not kill, and um, both of them are flowering. So this one has produced one, two, another bud coming up here. And as we can see with this one, we'll turn it around over here. It's already lost a flower. So it's already had one. And very fortunately, there with this one is still yet a bud forming here. So, number three. Um, like I said, I absolutely love the frags. They are very large plants, um, but some of them are multi floral and will produce a few flowers off of one flower spike. And Sometimes you get lucky with this one and you can get two flowers in one pop. So, uh, today's flowers in bloom, uh, Phragmopedium sidinii is, is my favorite. I want to thank you for watching today. Um, if you liked the video, please give me a big thumbs up. A subscribe would be nice. Everyone keep happy, healthy, and safe out there. And thank you again for watching.